Uh, hello, good evening. Hi Nelson, hi Jorge. Jorge, me imagino que ya va de camino para San Salvador, right? You're moving to San Salvador. Good morning. Hi Nelson, how you doing? Good evening. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está Nelson? How, how are you? Everything okay? Very good. Very good. Okay. Nice. Super, super nice. Eh, tenemos mm. por ahí una actividad pendiente, right? We do have mm. a homework assignment. <laughs> Ah, you see, I don't olvidado, remember. <laughs> yes, eh, le iba a escribir ayer, but I was like, no, va a tener el fin de semana. Me imagino. No, but tiene sí. el fin de semana, no se preocupe. So you have the whole weekend. Sí. Uh, para gracias por acordarme que realmente sí, lo había olvidado. Uh, I imagine, because I was like, mm, no, I, I, I said yesterday. So le iba a recordar, but I was like, no. Y you know, okay, me imagino okay. que estaba busy. So no worries. Sí. Eh, Envíenmelo durante el fin de semana, right? Saturday, Sunday, cuando tengo un poquito de tiempo. Okay. So whenever okay. you get some time, you can send it over. No worries. Um, hi, Susana. Good evening. Great to see you. Juan Carlos. Good evening, Juan Carlos. Nice to see you there. Eh, yeah. Mario, Mr. Valle. Yeah. Good evening. How are you guys? TGIF. Everything okay? Everything good? Yes, it has sense. Okay, 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 okay. Nice. So I'm glad, I'm really glad that you are fine, that your Friday is going all right. And uh, okay. And, uh, and thank you so much, guys, for joining uh, and for being here. So give me a second. I think I got somebody else there. Uh, Tatiana, good evening. Thank you for joining as well. Well, guys, um, thank you so much. Today we got a session number five of this module. Uh, so, gracias por la asistencia. Thank you so much for being here and the participation as well, right? Um, guys, teníamos por ahí una actividad pendiente. There was an activity that was kind of on the way. Um, so, at the end of yesterday's class, les um, mostraba some pictures. Well, I was showing you like a picture with some questions and uh, we are going to work on those questions by the end of the class um, so we can practice them a little bit. Um, part of the, of the things that we are going to be discussing today are related to um, making sentences in an intermediate level using the expressions we check like who, that, um, which that are the most common expressions or relative pronouns we can use to make sentences. Um, and we are going to be working today as well with some job uh, advertisement, right? Or um, like getting ready for a sort of job interview as well in case you get promoted to um, um, managerial position. So those are part of the things that we're gonna be working today on. Um, the, thank you so much, guys. Hi, Diana. Good evening. Thank you for joining. And uh, yeah, I guess there we go. How you doing? Everything all right? Is everything good? Ah, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, are you working on the weekend? No. Guys, do you work on the weekend? In my case, no, teacher. I, I rest on Both. the weekend. Oh, like Saturday and Sunday? Both days? Yes. Oh, what a blessing. Okay. <laughs> what a blessing. That is really, really nice. Super cool. Okay. <laughs> super, super cool. Because normally it's very common that at least you work like one day, either on Saturday for hours or Saturday or Sunday for hours. So, okay, cool. Guys, what about the rest of you? Do you rest? Are you working on the weekend? Are you working tomorrow? Not too sure. Susana, you're not working? What? Guys, nobody works on the weekend. Uh, Nelson, do you work on Saturday or Sunday? Only on finish the month. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. But, but only one weekend or one day? Uh, 
Yes, I, in day the month, the finish the month. Uh, yes, I on weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. But it's more my my work. <laughs> I know, but that is amazing. So you have a really nice yes, I would say kind of shift. Uh -huh, because it is not common to find a place where um you don't need to work like either um every yes, weekend teacher. or one day. Okay, okay, uh -huh. super cool. Super but super it's nice. a counter. <laughs> But we have okay. to work 10 hours per day. Mm, okay, <laughs> I get that. All right, <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> okay, well, but it compensates, you know, because I, I think I prefer to work. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's a, a really hard decision to make either to have um full week enough or the uh, to work 10 uh, um, or, or only one day off. So yeah, I get that. All right, guys. Um, well, let's get us started today. I have one topic that I guess everybody's kind of familiar with. Um, and definitely I want to listen to your opinions, guys, on this one. So what do you think about it? Um, this is like a sort of debate, right? Um, and I don't know if you are like a cat lover, a dog lover. Uh, honestly, I really hate cats. <laughs> but take a look at this one. So here we have cats are better pets than dogs. So this is a sort of debate, right? Um, so we're going to try, guys, to give our opinions, our ideas. Um, so what do you think about this one? Do you think that cats are better than dogs in general, better pets than dogs? Do you agree? Do you disagree? And why do you take any position there? I have to take my stand. Uh, I uh, disagree 100% with this statement. <laughs> so guys, what about you? Tell us. Hi, you heard my you feelings, mean? teacher. Uh, because of your emoji, I bet you are a cat lover or something. <laughs> yes, like that. I am. Uh, oh, okay. I'm I sorry. have four cats. No, are you serious? In the house? Yes. Oh, but what do you do with all the fur coming out of the cats and the cleaning and the meowing and the everything? <laughs> How do you do um, that? My cats are really. How do you say calm? Trained? And calm. Yes. Oh, are yes. they quiet? So they don't make yes. noise? No, they don't make noise. But I los esterilice. Oh, okay. So okay. Uh-huh. So had them in the process. All right. So how many girls? How many females do you have? Female cats? Two females and two males. Oh, okay. So no more. You won't have more kitties, right? You won't have more cats. Okay, but do... I always say that, and <laughs> then I have a new one. Oh, so you, do you bring home like stray cats? Yes. Oh, okay. Yes, I like to rest them. Oh, okay. There is a word, right, that we use that is stray, like cats and dogs that you find in the street. And you're like, oh, this is so beautiful. So from street, you rescue them and you bring them home. So those are the stray. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. So for cats, definitely. I couldn't beat that. <laughs> okay. Um, guys, so, okay. I bet you know that you are a hundred percent in agreement with this statement that cats are better than a dog. Mm, I no, maybe in the past I will say yes, a hundred percent. Okay. Because I never had a dog, but this year I adopted a a dog too, and mm -hmm. I really love her too. <laughs> so maybe an eighty percent that cats are better. Ah, okay, okay. So not a hundred percent, but still. <laughs> So they are better. Interesting. I have some more questions. <laughs> Guys, what do you think about this statement? <clears throat> Cats are better pets than dogs. Yes or no? And why? My, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, Manuel. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I like uh, either. Because uh, mm -hmm. 
in in the times uh, ago, mm -hmm. uh, I had cat. Okay. But but my cat uh, go away <laughs> always. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. Oh. Uh, but, uh huh. Um, because I, I consider they uh, the they didn't uh, uh, they do they don't uh, be alone. They are not. They are. They are. They are don't. Mm -hmm. uh, they are don't uh, be alone. Mm -hmm. uh, what What do you mean? Like they don't like to be alone? Yes. Oh, they, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, actually, I I have a dog, but I I like the cats and dogs. Both. Both. But which do you think is better? Is a cat better or is a dog better? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I don't have prefer for for this. Okay, so you don't have like a favorite uh, between both. I don't have them. favorite. All right. It's, it's the same cats or dog. No. Oh, okay. Okay. Got it. Hi, Chrissy. Good evening. Um, Norma, good evening. Silvia, hello. Thank you for joining. Oh, I think I saw somebody else. Maria Elena, good evening. Great to see you. Hello, Miss. Uh, Wendy, hello. Good evening, too. Hello, All right. Peter, so, everybody. It, the bat, uh, I say the bat. Oh, no. The bat. What do you mean? The bat. The bat. No sé cómo se dice. Lo que estaba ahí. Debatiendo del perro y gato. Ah, the debate, yes, yes, yes. Give us your opinion, the of course. Debate. Give us your opinion, my, yes. In my case, both, both, okay. cat and dog. Okay. Because, uh, but I have a dog. Mm -hmm. in, in my in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. in my neighborhood, live. Uh, many, many, many cats. Okay. <laughs> in in my neighborhood, in many cats and dogs. But I believe they are stray animals, right? So they don't have an owner. They don't have a house. So they are stray. So like yeah. callejeros, they are stray, like a stray no, cats, a stray no, dogs. No. Yeah. No, my uh. Vecino, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Mm -hmm. Yes, my neighbor. There, they, they have very uh, many, many cats and many dogs. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, all yeah. neighbor. Ah, okay. Yes, that is definitely a really bad thing, uh, because. Give me one second. In, in my case, my favorite, uh, I I see I see pretty uh, the cat. Okay. Uh, are pretty. Uh, but my favorite uh, is, is my dog. <laughs> okay, so you will go for those. Okay, guys, let's yes. do something because I think um some of us are like, oh, I like cats, but I like dogs. So to make it a real debate, we are going to do the following. We are going to um, ask you guys to take a stand and to defend either cats or either dogs. So let's do the following. Um, give me one second here. Yes, the moment. So I get Christia. I don't know if Christia will be uh, only a listener, but let's include it here. So we got Christia, we got Diana, we got Juan Carlos. Um, uh, yeah, Juan Carlos, I'm not sure if he, he's going to be a listener too. We got Manuel. Let's see how it goes. Uh, and we got um, Maria Elena. All right, guys. So you guys are going to defend cats. Maria Elena. All right. So all of you guys, let's say that you are going to um, defend cats and only cats. Okay. 
Um, so you have to defend this idea that cats are better pets than dogs with any argument that comes to your mind with any idea or any example that you can get. Then the rest of us guys like Diana, uh, I mean, Tatiana, Wendy, Susana, uh, Sylvia, Norma, and Nelson, and Marius. So guys, you are going to defend the opposite. That is not cats, but dogs, the ones um, that are better, all right? So let's go like one and one. Guys, give us your argument, listen to your classmates too, and uh, try to um, hit the argument back, right? With a different opinion. If they tell me, for example, that um, the cats, uh, I don't know, that dogs are super noisy. So I can say, yes, but cats, they disappear, like in the case of Manuel, you know? <laughs> so the cat just goes away um and they cannot be considered like your cat anymore so let's try to defend cats and dogs um guys let's just start with cat lovers please or the people defending cats give us an idea what you consider that cats are the best all right and then we're gonna listen to the opposite or any person from the other group telling us the opposite so cats give me an idea what you consider that cats are the best we're gonna call uh, it cats the cat are team. the best. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I consider that cats are better because they are very independent. Okay. Uh, I consider the cats are better because if you don't like the noise, the cats are the the better uh, pets that you can have. <laughs> interesting okay so they are not nice okay and they are independent nice anybody else okay dog team <laughs> so hit it back <laughs> hit it back guys dog give team. us some ideas uh what would you in say against case, that in my, uh -huh. case, um, I, in my opinion that dog uh, live in house Mm -hmm. in house and and cat live living neighborhood living street mm -hmm. oh no i don't I okay don't, so i don't like so uh, you said that cats live in the street that is that is danger is danger for day okay uh, in um in, in that in neighborhood um, the people uh, oh. how do you say lastimarlos? hurt so hurt. people hurt mm -hmm. hurt the cat hurt cats okay hurt okay cat. but oh. you have to defend dogs <laughs> yes you got to defend dogs okay okay dogs. <laughs> yes you get to defend dogs <laughs> Okay, okay, don't defend cats, only dogs. <laughs> Guys, dog team, help us. So, Nelson, why are dogs better than cats? Um, Norma, Sylvia, give us some idea. Hi, Ariela, good, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Um, so, any idea there? Why are dogs better, guys? Susana? Uh, uh, I like uh, cats. <laughs> No, but you get to defend no. dogs. <laughs> no, <laughs> I like okay. it though. Dogs for me, or see, cats? For me, no, dog. Cats I don't like. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, okay. Welcome to my team. <laughs> mm -hmm. Why? Yes, yeah, for me, a dog are more loyal. Okay. Oh, give me more, give me more ideas. Uh huh. So they are loyal. That <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they are loyal. Anything else, guys? I I I want to defend the dogs. <laughs> oh uh, no, cats, guys! Why do you say so, uh, <laughs> Go ahead, Christian. Case, in my case, I have three dogs, mm -hmm. and I have one. Bueno, uh, well, my my brother have uh, has a cat. Okay. But I really don't like the cats. I okay. think that this is the only cat that I I like because uh, she is is 
um, I don't know, but I think it's different than a lo another cats. But oh, okay. I really, really, really love my dogs. And I think you can do everything that you want with dogs. And okay. you can play with cats. Uh, the cats hurt you. Uh, they, uh, I don't Scratch know, you. have names. Yes, and I, I don't like that. And, they and I you. can't. Uh, yes and so i prefer the dog because i i can talk with them and then <laughs> and they understand me <laughs> I oh i like that okay i agree 100 yeah. percent with you all right um so but it got my attention that you said that this cat your brother's cat is a little different from other cats you have known so like in what sense is it different is it more quiet? Is it like um, more friendly or how would you describe it? Uh, the cats of, of my, my, my brother. Your brother's, yes, your brother's cat. My brother's cat. Uh, repeat your question, please. Uh, yes, you mentioned that this cat is different from other cats. Oh, okay, uh, so okay. my question is like, in what sense or how is it different? Um, it I don't know how do you explain, uh, but this cat, um, I don't know if she has uh, an extra um, sentil, sense, even, I don't sense. know how to say uh -huh. it. Yes, okay. and when I feel so bad, her is uh, with me, but I don't know why, because I, I don't uh -huh. like her. And yes, and I think that she, she feel that, but I don't know how. Right. And the other um, reason uh, is she, um, how do you say resongona or contestona, no sé. In a cat, I don't know. <laughs> for people, we call it the love, but for, for animals, I don't know. They reply back. How do you know yeah. that the cat responds? I, I mean, I, mean <laughs> I, I talk with her and, and her tell me, meow, meow. And, and me responde, pues, no, me responde, no sé. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I really need to, um, I got to be super honest, I really need to um, research on that because I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> yeah, okay. But reply, that we can use the expression reply, okay. Um, so you talk to the cat and the, to and the cat uh, replies back to you. All right. Yes. Interesting. Okay. I have never heard about it. All right. <laughs> That's a very special cat. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay. Now I get it. All right. Guys, anybody else? Okay. So Christia ended up defending dogs, which is amazing. Uh, guys, anybody else? Do you want to defend your pets? Do you have a dog, a cat? Do you want to defend them? I have a dog. Mm? Okay. One. And I want to defend him because he's so nice. He's so. Okay. Sweet. Okay. I think that dogs are kind of sweeter than the cats. Okay. I mean, the cats have a um personality. Oh, all right. Good or bad? The dogs. Okay. No, I mean, uh, so when you mentioned that uh, cats have personality, do you mean like a good personality, a bad per uh, personality, or what kind? Mm, I think it's both. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> but they are um, bipolar or something? <laughs> I think each cat okay. had a personality. You uh, okay. will never know how okay. it's that. Yeah, well... Okay, okay. So you get to defend your dog because you said that it's a little sweet. Um, has it ever attacked somebody? No, he is a chihuahua. Oh, no, but they are have a personality. Yeah, you know? I they know. They are I aggressive. Know. I think there there are specific persons that he don't he doesn't like. Ah, okay. Because yeah. all the chihuahuas I know they bark a lot. Yeah, they are super aggressive so, and noisy. Yeah, but he's not. He's so different. Oh, he's okay. quiet. He's oh. sleepy. He's okay. so kind of 75% friendly. 
and the other 25. <laughs> you will never know. <laughs> you don't know what to expect from the no. Chihuahua. Okay, yeah, I have seen a couple of videos and the Chihuahuas are the ones that are um, more aggressive, you know, than other kind yeah. of dogs. So, okay, okay, okay. Sounds all right. Anybody else, guys? Do you want to defend your cat, your dog? Hi, Jorge. Good evening. Um, uh, Silvia, would you like to add anything else there? Nelson, Norma, defend your cats, guys. <laughs> Juan Carlos. I, I want to say something, but okay. about what the dog lover said. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. This is a real debate. Okay, go for it. Um, I think that in the case of what Wendy said, and it depends from the owner. Because if you take care of your cat and you sterilize, um, they are really, how do you say, hogareños? I'm sorry, how do you say? Hogareños. Um, like homely, homely. Uh, well. uh, let me think. Uh, I don't really use the okay. word. But okay, let me, th let me try to remember it. Okay. Okay. But but, but you but mean cats it's like, can be like that too. Okay, the cats like to stay. They stay in home too. They don't stay in the street. Yes, they like it too. Mm. And I'm I, with I, Diana. Think, I think it depends on the owner. <laughs> Do you agree yeah, with it? Depends on the owner. Okay. And and also, I think that dogs are really needy. And they get really depressed if you're not with them. They get really bad if you don't if, if you don't give your attention and your time and mm -hmm. cut <laughs> and give yes. you your space when you need it. Oh, but cats disappear from your life, you know. <laughs> they escape. <laughs> Okay, that is really interesting. Um, there is this word I, I included in the chat. Um, that is the closest I can think of to Ogareño. That is a set home like cats, right? So I, I wouldn't say, I don't think there is a word for that, but let me investigate. If I find another, I let you know. But that's the one that I remember, like homely uh, or home like or a stay at home cat. So, okay. Interesting, guys. Thank you so much for sharing your opinions and participating in the debate. Obviously, we do not have a winner here. So um, pets are pets, right? But it's amazing that we can like share ideas. So super, super cool. All right, um, guys, moving on a little bit with part of the activities we got for today. Uh, we are going to, oh, yesterday we started talking about a, these expressions, right, that we normally use to give or to talk about people, objects, uh, places, etc. And if you remember yesterday, we were checking super strange jobs, uh, some Salvadorian expressions too. And we came uh, to hit these words like who, that, uh, and which, right? So give me just a second, just to remind you a little bit here. So yesterday we were using this word to connect like two sentences, right? We were using who uh, to give more information or to be super specific about a person. And we were saying that we use normally who just for people. And uh, uh, also something else to consider is that if this word is singular, the next one or the verb has to be according to the word we have right there. So who is just for people? But then we have other words like that. Um, we can use it for people. We can use it for objects. We can use it for a lot of different things. So take a look at this. That can replace who or which in the relative clauses in an informal style. It is very common that when we are talking, uh, instead of saying, uh, for talking about a person, we can use that. She is the teacher that, or she is the teacher who, and both are okay. Both are acceptable in informal style. This is the house which, this is the house that. So which and that both can be used to describe objects, animal, countries, etc., etc., and a lot of more things. 
So um, I have here today, guys, for you a couple of exercises with this topic. So we can start working on it. Um, and I got this one, it says here, um, choose the correct word to complete the sentences below. Before we move into reading and into the rest of the activities we have for the day, let's try to summarize this topic a little bit. So remember, we use who for people, that is the most common word. We can use that for objects, um, also for people, but it is not formal, but it is okay, it is acceptable. We can use which for objects, so that in which they are exactly the same. There is not like a big, big, big difference between them, right? Whenever we are talking about objects, countries, people, um, etc. So, and sometimes we are going to see the word whose, but whose it refer to possession. Uh, so um, whenever we get to this part, I'm going to show you like some uh, examples here. So take a look, for example, at exercise number one. Uh, there you go. And it says, do you really understand? Um, and we are missing another word right here. I told you, what do you think we are missing? We are missing um, a couple of more uh, expressions that we normally use. Like for example, what, where, etc. So take a look at number one. What would you use for number one, guys? Uh, did you really understand who I told you? That I told what you, I told which you. I told you? Yeah, right? It sounds more like what I told you. So we're talking about general information right here. What about the others? I'm going to give you uh, some minutes so you can try to figure out the best way to complete the ideas or the sentences using um, some WH words or the words that you have right there. So we can use more than one. Um, so I'll give you five minutes, guys. Don't, it's not necessary to write the answers. Try to just uh, think about it and try to complete it on your own. And then we check them together. So five, I'll give you just five. Guys, quick question. Uh, ¿Sigue el mismo issue del acceso? Eh, ¿Siempre tienen problemas para ingresar? ¿Siempre se están registrando en everything? Ok. Sí, siempre pide como que llene nombre, apellido, correo y luego te redirecciona el correo. En, ¿No les permite entrar solo con el, um, like, el ID? Eh, no. Hoy no. Que, a al nombre y todo eso, pero ya está puesto. Okay. Um, okay. Um, guys, well, ahorita pues ya estamos conectados, but do me a big favor. Uh, para el lunes, guys, um, this, um, how do you call that one? Um, uninstall the application. Intenten um, in desinstalarla, so uninstall it, y luego instalenla nuevamente. So creería que es una actualización que todavía está dando problemas, but somebody recommended that. So intentemos desinstalarla, otra vez instalarla, and hopefully for Monday ya no nos dé mayores problemas. So give me one sec. Oh, okay, so let's work on it, I'm sorry. Teacher, en mi caso yo eh, solamente le doy click al, al enlace y me manda donde hay que registrarse siempre con el, el nombre, el correo, y luego dice que le va a enviar un correo de aprobación de registro entonces cuando usted busca el correo de registro ahí se va otra vez a la al enlace de ahí le abre todo ya el enlace de su... 
Yeah, en, es... en la computadora o en el teléfono, lo mismo. En mi casa. Yeah. De hecho, sí, no tendría que dar mayor dificultad, but for some reason, no está funcionando. It's not working. Qué raro, super weird. Okay. Sí, así como dice Manuel, creo que así nos, nos da a todos. Es que sí. antes era como forma directa, directo. se le daba directo, en el... Sí. Y de un solo ya entraba sí. uno a, a, al Zoom, pero hoy no hay que como confirmar. Ajá. Hay que la confirmación. Al, al correo. O sea que le, en el correo de confirmación hay que... Varios correos de confirmación. O sea, cada día es un correo de confirmación. Sí, así es. O sea, si no entra uno, no. O sea, si no entra, si no entra uno al correo, no puede registrar. No. Uh, ok. Um, ¿No well. Eh, intentemos, guys, intentemos el fin de semana y no solo instale, desinstalenla, instálenla and hopefully ya no nos daría más problemas el lunes. Esperemos, you know, let's Yo instalé, teacher, yo instalé en la máquina el actualizado. De... Oh, y siempre se registra. Sí, sí siempre, siempre. Oh, ok. Qué super weird. Es la nueva actualización, supongo. Sí, pero está dando muchos problemas. It's giving like a lot of issues here. So, okay, okay, but let's, let's give it a try. Guys, yeah, y si todavía no la, no la han actualizado, I try to update it. So, um, let me see, for Monday we have uh, like another way to deal with it, so. Super, super weird. Let me just help somebody.
Two more minutes, guys. Oh, guys, are you ready or do you need more time? I think I'm ready. Okay. Teacher, are you ready? Yes. Finished. Okay, perfect, perfect. Guys, what about the rest? Are you ready? Do you need more time? Okay, I think Nelson is still working on it, so I'll give you some more time. And I see Wendy's super focused, so I'll give you some more time. Um, remember here there are a couple of expressions we are missing, so you can use a couple more uh, pronouns or adjective pronouns here, like who, that, which, whose, what, where. Um, sometimes we can use when as well and some others, so it's not just limited to these ones. Okay, guys, um, let's check the answers, all right? Let's compare, and if you have a different answer, that's totally fine. We can come up, you know, with the best way here. So let's take a look. Number one, 
Did you really understand what I told you, right? So we are going to use what for that. Number two, Mr. Dean. What about number two, guys? Uh, Mr. Dean? Oh, who had did you know? Who, who had recently Dean? been fired. Yes. Exactly. Had a long list of misconducts. All right. Number three, the victims. The, Most the of first, the first what teacher? Sorry. Yes, the first one is what? Did you really understand what I told you? Mm -hmm. Yes. So number two, that would be who? Number three, guys, the victims. Most of which? Which were which, mm -hmm. which? most of which were adults are being identified by the US authorities. Number four, I like the scene. Where? Exactly. When? So what? Um, what? because we are talking about scene, sounds more like uh, you know, it can be a time and it can be a place. So most likely we can use uh, where Dorothy meets a skirt crowd or when. Dorothy meets a scarecrow, but still I go with um, uh, where, right? Because we're talking about TV, you know, series and all those things. Mm -hmm. So I'll go with where. Number five, this is the man who, who I am in love with. All right. Uh, which um, yes. that wouldn't be, uh, that wouldn't be all right because we're talking about a person. Even that in here sounds super strange. This is the that man I that with. I am in love with. Mm -hmm. okay. Remember, it is possible to use that, but that is less formal. So it, it would be okay or it would be better just to use who. This is the man who that, I am in love that, with. That number, five. number five would be who. Or oh, this is the woman who I am in love with. Yeah, that would be who. Number six, I wasn't honest with Kenneth. Who? Who made him furious. Mm, maybe no, not because what refers to a person who made him furious. Mm, which? No. Which made him furious no. because we're talking about the situation. So I wasn't honest with Kenneth. Which? Which? The fact that I was not honest made him furious. Mm -hmm. I cannot use who because who refers to Kenneth, but this made him furious refers to a situation. So I'm gonna use which. Number seven, uh, the chancellor. Don't worry about this word. A chancellor is um, like a politician in the, in the in like for the royalty, right? For the countries that have queens and kings. So the, the chancellor, what do you have in here? And this is super, this is super interesting. Yes. Whose? Because we are not talking about the chancellor, we're talking about the songs. Yes. So whose songs were arrested in the corruption operation resigned yesterday. Oh, very nice, guys. Good job. Number eight, the police searched the vehicle. Where? The gang was found. Where? where the gang was found. Exactly. So where? Because we're talking about the vehicle, a place, right? Number nine, the driver. Who's? 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 Who's or which? Yes, both are, are okay. Okay, let's let's go first with which. The driver. Uh, which contract finishes at the end of the season? Um could be, you know, doesn't want to talk about his future. Who? And we have this other possibility. That is whose contract. So no who, right? Because not, we are not talking about the driver, but whose contract. Um, so it's the possessive way. All right. Oh, so okay. I the whose contract. We I are going to use who when we refer to the same yes. person. But whose refers to possession. Mm -hmm. Um, in Spanish, we use this expression like cuyo or cuya, right? Something like that. Mm -hmm. That would no be the entendido. cuz. No había entendido la, la pregunta bien, por eso es que me he equivocado. Oh, but, but both are Está fine. Está del contrato, del contrato. Yes, de yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. The driver whose contract? We are talking okay. about the country or which contract? Mm -hmm. Number Oof. 10, between 2000 and 2005, she wrote three novels. I have, I have, which? Mm -hmm. That sounds like the most, um, like the best answer here. 
which were published. Okay, now I want you to take a look at something super strange, I have to say, about a couple of sentences here. For example, number two, if you pay attention, you have a comma, then you have an expression, and then you have another comma. When this happens, when you have expressions between commas, it is because we are adding extra information and this information is not necessary. We can eliminate it. I'm gonna eliminate it. Uh, we can eliminate the whole thing. And look, Mr. Dean had a long list of misconducts. Oh, it makes sense. I understand the sentence. So um, we are going to have in the material something that is called defining and not non-defining clauses. Um, I don't want to go too much into grammar, right? But I want you to see this like in use, all right? So when you see words or expressions between commas, it's because you don't need that because it's just extra, we can eliminate it and it makes sense. So look at this, the victims, I can eliminate this part. The victims are being identified by the US authorities. Oh, it's okay, I get it, I understand. But this piece of information gives me extra details, most of which were adults. Ah, okay, I have extra information, but it is not necessary. So these kind of sentences uh, have one specific structure. Give me a moment and you will find it in your material, guys. Um, bear with me a moment. Let me just open it up. Um, we are not going to stop too much in grammar because uh, what I have heard so far, you handle it very well and more than understanding the grammatical part, I want you to use it. So we are just going to complete a couple of exercises. Um, so if you take a look guys at your material, let's go to page numbered, give me one second. It is unit number one, the first unit. A page numbered, oh my God, I don't see that, number 15. So in page number 15, you see this part, right? That is how to punctuate adjective clauses correctly. Non-essential uh, relative clauses provide information about someone or something, but they are not necessary. That is exactly the example we saw uh, in exercise number two. If you take a look, we have who is Peter's friend? perfectly the expression that is between the commas, I can eliminate it and the sentence makes sense. So I don't need it. Dean uh, Beckett is the editor for the New York Times. Oh, okay, I got it. I don't need more. So uh, you place it between commas when the information is not super, super relevant um, and it, it still you understand the idea. So look at uh, number three, for example, our new manager who knows about the true leadership is ex implementing a new motivational program. I, I, can, I can eliminate all this part and you understand the idea. So we are going to use commas, like two commas. Take a look, uh, take a look here. When the relative clause does not provide essential, essential information about the noun, it is necessary to use a comma at the beginning and at the end, all right? Uh, normally, this is going to happen with who and which. Those are the most common ways. So, guys, take a look at exercise, uh, the exercise below, all right? Um, it says here, read the statement below. Decide if it is essential or not. In other words, guys, we are not going to complicate much. In other words, look at the expressions that start with who, Look at the expressions um, that start with that or which, okay, and decide if the information is necessary or not necessary. It is just extra information or something super, super important. If it is necessary, we will not do anything. If it is not necessary, we are going to write a comma before who and when the sentence uh, finishes. So comma, who, comma, to separate ideas. Guys, I don't know if this sounds a little bit confusing. 
the to this is just in written statements when you need to write reports, when you need to write um, essays or uh, professional documents. Otherwise, in talking, you don't use it. So it is just for written purposes. Does it sound kind of, does it make sense to you? Or not much? I think we are processing the information. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> okay, um, remember this topic, uh, you're not gonna use it when you're talking. You just use it when you're writing, uh, writing reports or something super professional. So just decide, look at number one, training manager who is located in UK require urgently. Do we need that information or not? Do we need this piece who is located in the UK? Um, let, me, let me just underline the part and you tell me guys if it is necessary or not. So if it is necessary, we don't do anything. Oh. If it is not necessary, mm -hmm. then we need the commas. One comma before, one comma after. Next one says professionals who are familiar with design. There you go. Do I need it or do I need a comma here? Is it necessary or not? Managers with extra certification that have a particular emphasis on IT. Okay, it starts here. That have a particular emphasis on IT and sales, uh, up to sales. Do we need commas? Yes or no? Is it relevant? Yes or no? Guys, I'll give you three minutes. Try to process it on your own. <laughs> Hey guys, let's go with number one. So training manager um, who is located in UK 
require urgently? Is it necessary or no? Do you think that the part of who is located, the location of the person is necessary? No. Or not really? Not really. It, it needs, it needs comma. We need a comma, guys. Do you agree with that? Do we need a comma there? I agree with a comma. Training manager. I'm Com trying to look for that way. Okay, so training manager, comma. Um. Who, it is a comma. <laughs> training mm. manager, comma, who is located in UK, comma, comma. require yes. urgently. Okay. It is not essential, it is just not extra essential. information, right? Okay, next one. Professionals who are familiar with design, development, Develop. and implementation mm -hmm. of training are to be given preference. Uh, in essential or not essential? Important or not important, guys? Is it extra information or not? It's extra information. Extra information. Mm -hmm. But do we need it? Do you think we can use a comma or not? Um, yes. Yeah. It's a comma. It and is. it's a comma? Um, so let's take a look at this part. It says here, when the relative clause does not provide essential information about the noun it modifies, it is necessary to use a comma. What does it mean essential information? Information that I need in order to understand better something. In this part, it says training manager, oh, but who is located in the UK is just extra. Yes. But the most important thing is training manager. But here, professional. Oh, professional mm, is super, yes. super big. General. It's bro yes. uh -huh, too broad, too general. Yes, it, yes. it is professional. It's necessary. It is necessary, this information. It is necessary because yes, it I can is. be very specific. Development, Design, development, and implementation. So training, no yes. comma because no I need that information to get it. Yes. The next one is as managers with extra certifications that have a particular emphasis on IT and sales are preferable. What about number three? Do we need that information? In the same case, in the same case because- It's necessary. It is necessary because manager yes. with extra certifications Mm, doesn't give me much, ah, but that have a particular emphasis. So this is very, very specific, right? Yes. Uh, and helps me understand doesn't better. Need, doesn't this need part. a comma. Mm -hmm. Doesn't need a comma. Yes. So that is pretty much the main point with this. When you understand an idea and this is just something extra, even you may say, I oh, know, but I need that the person is in UK. I mean, I really need that. That is important for me. Okay, so in that case, the commas can be eliminated too. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the at the end of the day, it really depends up to you. Um, it is up to you, right? Uh, if this information is relevant or it is not. Give me one second. One classmate is having issues with the access. Okay. Lo logré. Ah, ok. Hi. Hello. Wait a second. Uh, Mary. Hello. Miss Eron. Hello. Hello teacher. Hello. Yes, we made it. <laughs> Hello. I'm super glad. I'm glad you made it. Ok. So I'm super, super glad. So what, what happened at the end? Was it the application? Me ayudó Mr. Something, algo así. Oh, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Nice, pero solo era la aplicación, no. No, me tocó que volver como a, o sea, no me daba los pasos, luego me tocó volver. Right? A, ajá, volver, desinstalarla y volver a instalarla. Eso es ah, eso. No. Es. No, me, si yo le escribí. Perdón. It was me. Perdón. And, and I was like, mi suñiga se parece a mi apellido. No, it was me. Okay. 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 Well, but I'm super glad. But I'm super glad you made it. Yo okay. voy en camino a casa, dice, así que voy a ir solo así. 
Okay. 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 No worries. Uh, thank you. Uh, no worries. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> okay. Nice. 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 All right, guys. So take a look at the following part. Um, we're going to work today a little bit with some things. One of them is a job description. Uh, we are going to work a little with that. But yesterday, before we finished classes, I gave you three questions that I wanted to um, discuss and get ready for today. So we're gonna go first with those questions. Give me one second, this is not, okay, there we go. Um, so the questions were these ones, so wait a second. Okay, the questions are right here. Um, number one says, uh, 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 there we go. What do you think about gossiping? Is it a normal practice at work? Obviously, this topic that we just checked is something that we need to include, like this is a person who, when a person who, which, that, etc. cetera. Uh, have you ever called a company to void a transaction for you? And number three says, which do you think is a profitable business? So far, we are going to stay with just uh, these three questions, right? Um, guys, we are going to talk about it a little bit. I want you to try to give information, please. Uh, try to um, give details. If you have no idea what to say, I always say, guys, make it up. Invent and sell it. Just make it up, but try to say something. Try to give your opinion, your experience, etc. Um, I'm going to send you guys to the groups, all right? Uh, so we can talk for a couple of minutes. Uh, so if you don't have the questions, you can take a screenshot, you can take a picture. I know you're tired. I know it's Friday. The body knows it. <laughs> but let's try to um, give it a try. So you don't need to write anything, guys. So just speak. Uh, what do you think about these equations? What business can you start that is super profitable? And uh, are you familiar with gossips? Do you gossip? And is it normal to boy transactions? Guys, we have 10 minutes. Talk about it, discuss them, and then we come back and I'll tell you what to do. So go, 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 go.
Okay, guys, thank you so much for coming back. So we were talking a little bit about gossips, profitable business. Um, and I know that some of you have been in this situation that there are gossips in your office or you are in sales, for example, or some of you are in marketing or some of you are in publicity and your boss tells you, hey, Wendy, you need to sell more. <laughs> um, or no llegamos a la meta, you don't hit the target, you don't hit the goal. So there we have these words, ah, profitable, void, and all of them. So, but I want you to take a look at the following information we got right here. And uh, I was asking you uh, previously, if you were managers, and I believe we don't have managers here. So guys, look at the following. Um, we are going to do a little exercise related to all these things and all this vocabulary that we just checked. Um, take a look at this one. Um, you told me that before some of the abilities um, that, or some of the characteristics of a good boss and a good manager can be listen, that you listen to your employees, um, that you guide them, that you lead them, um, that you are open to ideas, etc. So take a look at this one. Guys, today you are being offered the position of junior manager. And with junior manager, you have a lot of challenges. Um, imagine, guys, you get a promotion, right? And uh, this is in your material. This is in page numbered. Wait a second. I'm going to show you here. Mm, I don't see it. 16 page 16. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. So this is in page number 16. Uh, we have this position, right? That is a manager position. And, guys, you are being offered to become a junior manager. But there is only one little situation that you need to have some specific skills. I was asking previously uh, this question, what are your weakness? What are your strengths? I was asking you today about gossip, right? And we have different uh, other things that are related here. And in page number 16, we have the characteristics that we need in one boss. So guys, we are going to try, um, guys, have you ever been in a job interview in English? I believe Diana mentioned before that she worked in Tatiana in English or um, environment. Uh, what about the rest guys? Have you ever had English interviews? Job interviews? No, teacher. No. Nobody. No Nobody else. Okay. So imagine that today is going to be your first. <laughs> okay, look at this. Junior manager wanted. We need a manager. We require a responsible person who will be given the duty to assist senior managers working to further develop the company. These are the obligations. A professional knowledgeable in administration is desired to be in charge of outlining the duties for each team member in our sales department. Oh, this is for sales, guys. Uh, senior managers meet uh, frequently with our junior manager who has to present reports and other documents to discuss evaluations and employee performance. Therefore, good personal relationships are a must. They are mandatory. More information, Court. Okay. Guys, today everybody is applying to become a junior manager, all right? So you want to grow in a company. This is an, um, a job in an American company. Uh, obviously, the interview is going to be English only. Oh, my God. And this is the position. What are some common questions that people can ask you in the, in the interview, guys? Give me some questions that they ask you in Spanish. Remember, this is to become a manager. You what think? experience do you have? <laughs> okay, so uh, what experience do you have? Okay, what experience do you have? What are your strengths 
Is As a cool. manager, yes. What are your strengths? And opportunities. Strengths. Um, okay, and opportunities, or we can use the word weakness too. Opportunities. Yeah, they can ask you in a lot of different ways. Opportunities. Or they can ask you, um, uh, tell me three positive things and three negative things. Tell me what are uh, your greatest strengths. There are a lot of different ways they can ask you this question. What else? This is to become a manager. Anything else? What give uh, the company? What, what, what did, no, what give, what did give you? No, no, What? What do, or do you give? What no, do you? What do, what do you give at the company? Okay, that's a really good cool one. I'm gonna just modify the word. What do you bring to the company? What do you give to the company? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, very nice. Nice, nice, nice. What do you bring to the company? Or there is another people ask you sometimes that is why, very similar, why should we hire you, right? Because this is to become a manager. So why should we hire you? And we are not going to say, ah, because I need the money, right? <laughs> or oh, because I need another job. So, okay, what else? I'm going to include something that companies ask a lot, especially in upper positions. That is, tell me about a, an issue you have and how you solve it. Because um, this refers to problem solving. And here we can talk about gossips in the office and what you did to solve them. We can talk about a business that are not profitable and how you work with marketing, publicity, et cetera. Uh, or we can use like, um, I don't know, the time that you voided a transaction and how was, or which were the steps that you took in order to solve the situation. Uh, are we included? Oh, and the salary expectations, right? What are your salary? expectations. Remember the position here is junior manager, right? So everybody is applying for this position. You want to be a junior manager. Um, and in the sales department, guys, do you have any idea what the salary range is? Uh, the range is for a manager or a junior manager in sales? How much do they earn? Around It depends of the company. <laughs> and if it's feeling well. Uh -huh. Okay, let, yeah, let's. This is an American company, but here in El Salvador. Uh, <laughs> okay, how much can 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 we? I don't know. Offer a thousand dollars. A thousand, but it's junior. Is uh, a thousand okay? No. Uh, in my in my is... sorry. No. In my company, a manager earns like two thousand dollars. So a manager, a man, an account manager. Yes. Mm, but this, let's say that this is going oh, to be kind of um, um, a leader company. A lead, yes, a team lead. Oh, <laughs> kind 800? of. 800? No, but that's or too 500. little. <laughs> no, too little. 500. 500. No, guys. 500. 500. But that is in Spanish, but in English, the salaries are different. If the company requires English, especially, you know, call centers and companies that are international, they offer better salaries. Let's say 12, 1200, is that okay? Or is that too much? Ediana, 1200? Yeah, that is okay. Yeah, yes. right, okay. Yeah, guys, because a manager, as Diana said, can be making $2,000. Uh, in, in, a, in a company in which you are required to speak English, the interview is going to be English, so let's offer good salary, right? <laughs> I want to offer more, but no. <laughs> okay, um, we're going to try to make these guys as a real interview, right? As if you were really applying for this position. Um, probably you don't have experience uh, being a manager. Probably you do. 
But if you don't have experience, uh, try to convince the person that you are the person they need, right? Try to convince the interviewer uh, that like, I don't have manager in this, I don't have experience in this position, but I learned really fast. And I'm super open, you know, to new opportunities and challenges and guys, sell yourself. So sell yourself, all right? So you gotta sell yourself. Um, here you have a couple of questions. We are going to be working in pairs for this interview. Uh, guys, one person can be the interviewer. The rest can be the interviewees, right? And uh, uh, guys, as in a real interview, pongan los nerviosos, guys. <laughs> Imagine that this is a real interview, um, especially now because of COVID, because of the quarantine and all the changes. Um, I have to tell you, in my previous job, my interview was was here in Zoom, you know. So um, the, now the interviews are done in um, online. So you don't need to go to the place. Imagine that this is a real one. So let's try to sell yourself, right? Uh, give me one moment. Let me just, I think a couple of classmates are not going to be participating. So better for us. Nah, just kidding. Now let's take advantage, you know, of the opportunity to be in person, right? And uh, interview your classmate, please. So guys, one person is the interviewer. The other person is the interviewee. And I'm going to give you five minutes to try to have a conversation. And then I'm going to rotate you, okay? Guys, go to the groups, please. Go participate, ask questions. Let's go for it. Go, go, so Norma, Silvia, let's go to the groups. Uh, Maria Elena and Susana, Christian, okay. Yeah, nice. There, Mariela and Tatiana.
Um, thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming back. I believe almost everybody's back here. All right, guys, how was your interview? Did they hire you? So was anybody hired here? Nobody. No. No contrataron a nadie, guys. Nobody was hired. No teacher. No. Don't, don't no pay. pay. No pay. No pay. Good. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't offer a good salary. Oh my god. No. Okay. It's a bad salary, teacher. Interesting. No. Oh. Okay. No, no, como es, how do you say no cumple mis expectativas? <laughs> they don't meet my expectations. They don't meet ah, don't my salary expectations. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. So um, I just, I think I just heard a, a couple of interviews. Manuel, I think was the one who I listened uh, to the most. He was very convincing. I have to tell you, I was like, yes, higher, you know. <laughs> Okay, but I want to listen to the rest as well. Guys, we will continue practicing this kind of, you know, exercises. I think it helps us a lot to talk about us and to get ready for future um, interviews, right? We never know when an opportunity opens and we are ready for that. Um, guys, antes de irnos, eh, solamente let me go over attendance. Eh, Claudia está por acá. No he visto a Claudia, pero vi que se iba a unir, so I'm not sure. Creo que no, right? No, she's not here. Uh, Cristia, yes, she was here. Diana, yes. Uh, Jorge Vela, yes, Jorge estaba en camino. Carlos, hey Jorge, ya llegó a su casa. Are you home already? Almost in home. Okay, no encontró tráfico, no traffic. A lot of traffic. Oh, okay. Espero que llegue, you know, safe and sound. To your house. Thank you, All right, we got Manuel, Mr. Palma is right there. Miss Conce, Miss Seron is there. Guadalupe is there. Uh, Mario Villeda. Uh, yes, Mario Villeda is right there. <laughs> Mr. Valle. No sé si Mr. Valle está por ahí. Yes, right there. Thank you so much. And uh, let me just take a look at the rest. I got uh, Nelson, Nelson was right there. Nelson, no se le olvide la tareita, sí. porfa. <laughs> le voy a ir acumulando tarea, Nelson. <laughs> eh, Norma was right there. Eh, no, she's not coming. Silvia, eh, Susana, Tatiana, and Wendy. All right, guys. So thank you so much for your attendance. And uh, I hope, you know, oh, guys, no se les olvide, please. Intentar avanzar con la plataforma para que no tengamos, eh, you know, que los chicos de administración nos vayan a jalar orejas que no hemos trabajado. So intenten avanzar a little bit, right? Eh, mientras no sea posible. Pero en match hemos cubierto parte de los temas de unit number one eh, para que ustedes empiecen a trabajar. Si hay algún ejercicio con el que tengan dificultades, eh, tomen la captura, nos la envíen al grupo y con gusto la revisamos. Thank you guys, thank you for your attendance and I'll be seeing you on Monday. Have a good rest of your Friday. Ahora sí, guys, fri um, it's Friday and everybody knows it. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. See you. Bye. 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 Blessings. Blessings. Bye-bye. See, See you guys. Bye -bye. Enjoy it.